Hello everyone and welcome to another Throne of Liberty video. My name is Brian if you happen to be new here to the channel, but if you're a returning subscriber, I'm not going to waste your time and we're going to just jump right in. Today we're going to be talking about the latest and new details coming from the Throne of Liberty announcement over at Summer Games Fest. If you guys have been following the channel, I wasn't able to kind of watch and hang out, so I've been getting caught up because I had a couple doctor's appointments. All that's really good. Nothing to really dive in. Uh, no bad news to share just yet, but uh, at its core, I just wanted to dive in to everything that we're now learning about the game coming from the launch of play throneofliberty.com. So today we're going to dive in, spend some time with the website. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts as somebody who's been following this game, which is uh, obviously no slouch when it comes to the, you know, takes of online gamers, right? This isn't going to be a game for everybody, but no game truly is. But honestly, I'm really excited to go hands on with it. And the fact that it's coming to Steam, Xbox Series X and S and PS5 as a free to play MMO, it's going to be an interesting case study as somebody who loves data it's going to be an interesting case study for sure but let's go ahead and spend a little time for those of you who are subscribers and have been for a long time i'm going to do something a little bit different at the end of today's video uh, if you stick around for that i hope you enjoy that special surprise but let's go ahead and first dive right in once you go to playthroughandliberty.com, you can actually sign up to be a part of the limited technical test i have gone and signed up there's no guarantee that i'm going to be in the technical test as a content creator, regardless, I accept whatever my fate might be as I uh, tend to sometimes upset, uh, you know, obviously the, the marketing companies online because I like to tell you guys uh, true, try to tell you guys how it is. So just note that just because I have friends doesn't necessarily mean they're always going to, uh, I guess, help me out one way or the other. But hopefully I'm going to be able to give get in, give you guys hands on impressions. Overall, the site and what we're going to spend time with the rest of this video on is is essentially going to be focusing in on kind of the main page and in terms of this, the world page. News just covers the technical test and a lot of stuff we other, uh, always know, already known. And if you are a content creator, uh, you can also sign up for the content creator program for Throne of Liberty. Same thing goes for all Amazon properties. They have it all kind of coalesced into kind of one dashboard. So, and if you're thinking about getting content creation and you've ever got questions, hopefully I can help answer them. I spent a lot of time uh, helping content creators understand their uh, their analytics. And I like to always share my analytics with you guys over on Twitter. All the links are in the description. You can go do what you want. All right. First and foremost, the site actually, I think, is fundamentally gorgeous. It's going to give us a brief overview of what this game is. A free-to-play multi-platform MMORPG. There is no single path to victory. You need to uh, adapt and to fight to survive and thrive through strategic decisions in PvP and PvE as both of you will encounter an ever-evolving battlefield. So this is going to be impacted by weather, time of day, and other players. So for those of you who are been following this game, this is all going to be fairly cookie cutter but i think we get some really cool stuff here in just a minute and overall the news right now is just welcome to throne of liberty and by the way here's the technical test here's where i think things start to get interesting both in terms of design of the website as a software engineer i <laughs> uh you know i think it's a beautiful flowing one but the media section and then the all media section so far seem a little bit different to me but we get a lot of really gorgeous in-game looking images and so obviously one of these is on the thumbnail uh because they just dadgum look that good I'm, I'm debating between him and i'm debating between this so you guys can let me you obviously clicked on the video so you know what one i ultimately decided on and then they do have frequently asked questions which we'll do a deep dive uh, and guide as that comes closer to more information and obviously signing up for the newsletter but i want to spend a little bit of time on the media and then the world section one of the things i found just kind of interestingly humorous to me is that these screenshots obviously more in-game footage looking like absolutely stunning right i think the the critique that i i can understand is people's view of the combat but this game is visually absolutely gorgeous and regardless of that like i'm actually kind of excited about combat wouldn't my mind a change or two sure but i'm gonna go hands-on before i give you like my real like what do i think that they can change and will change or you know they don't have to change it it's not it's not being built for me specifically it's hopefully built to you know to adapt to the ps5 the xbox and pc environments uh but we'll have to wait and see you notice the screenshots that we looked at right at the front aren't here and says all media so I don't know if that was an oopsie one way or the other. I do wonder if those other screenshots will make their way into the section, but we obviously have the video that we've seen and like the new announcement that they announced at Summer's Games Fest, really good call. 
uh, with that to be able to get people excited about it, uh, to kind of re reach a wider audience as I stutter, because uh, that's just a fact of the nature of the uh, business of my brain. <laughs> Anyhow, all that being said, I just, yeah, I just wanted to kind of call that out because I found that kind of interesting. But let's go ahead and dive into the world. Let's dive through each of these sections as it starts to really kind of set up, I think, a really interesting story being that. And my, my point to a lot of people is that let's say it has a, a banger of a story, something that you can play like from the end of the day doesn't necessarily mean that you have to abandon all of your games to live in one, you know, one world and one story. Um, I've been hearing a lot of really good things, obviously from the trailer, the voice acting and just the cinematics alone have me intrigued and interested to kind of play through it and see what it's all about. So the story kicks off in a vast world of Celestrium and forgive any butchering of names. Also, uh, you know, shout out to the Lineage 2 fans out there. I see you guys in the comments. You are freaking epic. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, you or others seek out the fragments of the Star of the Salvas and to harness absolute power in order to defeat Kazar, the Wrath of Conquest. You and those that you've trusted guilds strategically deter uh, determine how to achieve victory against both Kazar's armies and rival guilds. We obviously knew that guild versus guild kind of is a system in play. Now, we get a couple of characters, obviously, with their screenshots, not again in the all media section. So uh, who knows? Maybe we'll all swap up the thumbnail here with one of these characters. Uh, Kathana. Uh, Kathana is a witch who once destroyed the children's island with the Akim Legion under Kazar's command. Her loyalty resides with Kazar and her goal to preserve uh, Salvas the star's fragments to seize absolute power. And you have Yang Junith. Yang Junith dropped out of the Magic Academy after becoming outraged at the evil deeds of the Akim Legion. He committed himself to the resistance and is looking for the orphans who lost their parents in the wars. Then you have Kazar. Kazar is the incarnation of pure evil that hopes to conquer the world through complete domination and destruction. Uh, you have Clay Katano. Oh, man, whew, I'm, I, I suck at reading. I'm dyslexic. It's just a skill I don't possess. I work on it. Uh, Yammering. <laughs> I don't know if you're watching this video. Shout out to you and thank you so much for help with pronunciations. I wish you were in my ear right now. Um, that sounds dirty, but it is not meant to intend to be. All right. The sense of the mission and the purpose driven clay guitar uh, is an intellectually curious wizard who has protected the children from the stars uh, of the evil deeds of Kazar. Uh, we have Benny here, a uh, straight up easy name for me to read, and someone's going to be in the comments, going to be snarky. It's Bonnie. Uh, Benny joined the resistance to make a, deliver, uh, a difference. He's able to use his shrewd judgment and his resolute disposition uh, as a sentry and bookkeeper of military supplies. You have Lottie. Uh, as an instructor of the resistance, Lottie offers mechani uh, mechanical maintenance, uh, sufficient technical skills, and knowledge of the conquered and magic in uh, Knowledge of, uh, to be uh, considered a magical engineer. Uh, you have Captain Da Vinci. Uh, he says, as a loyal devo uh, devotion to the king and his men, uh, Captain Da Vinci is all about honor and pride. But as they say, pride goeth before the fall. The captain feels the coercive force of evil dominating the world and possibly tempting him. And then that is our characters. Uh, you have Castalian. Castalian is a vibrant city of merchants ready to sell and trade. Residents happy to offer information and, and resisting soldiers protecting uh, the peace. Then you have Carmine Forest. Carmine Forest is belongs to the caretaker of spiders, Morakai, and uh, uh, the turncoat. Explore carefully as he has leached all vitality from the forest, and he now lurks there with spiders to lust for in his lust for eternal life. You have the Titan Reach ruins. The Titan Reach ruins are all that remain of the temple where the colossal ancient beings were created. But took, uh, uh, but look closer and you may find everything is not what it seems. Then you have the Monoth uh, Wastelands. Uh, cursed rains contaminated the water, creating the Monoth Wastelands, which resulted in the desert being populated and the sand cobras and the carnivorous plants. Stone Guard Castle. Stone Guard Castle it rests on a flat hillside hewn down by thousands of stonemasons and the northwestern central stone guards and the hillside contains a complex maze of caves filled with the Baloch's nests and mandrakes the mission uh, the mansons who uh, the masons that would be better uh, who expo uh, explored these caves never returned then you have the sanctum of desire enter the sanctum of desire dungeon where you must defeat the four altars representing flame tsunami typhoon and earthquake in order to discover who must you must truly battle lizard island home of the lizard tribe the island grows many poisonous flowers and the lizards consume giving the residents uh, to poison and the north region features the lake of regeneration 
while the south is home to the crater of death and the tribe of the ferocious lizards and then you can kind of see the, the environments shifting weather day night cycles which we were uh, all very well aware of now I bring all of this to you guys just as uh, just, uh, the fact that I'm excited about this I honestly really am interested to see how this game is both received how I feel about it once I go hands on with it because visually it is absolutely stunning controller support is an uh, is awesome cross play cross save is what I'm assuming because it's obviously coming to Xbox and uh, PlayStation which would be silly to separate these on the consoles that's just not the world we live in anymore in terms of games but that's what I wanted to bring you guys. Be sure to sign up for the technical test. Good luck on getting in. I'll cover, I'll give you, be sure to give you guys any updated news and information as we learn more. Uh, I'm going to get ready to talk about, obviously, the th other things that we saw uh, out of Summer Games Fest. We still got more news to come. And uh, yeah, it's, it's sure to be, I think, a pretty cool summer uh, regardless. So obviously, we didn't get a date. I knew the site was going to be going live. I'm hoping that we can see the technical test sometime in July, namely because June is absolutely swamped. And that's going to wrap it up pretty much for the video itself. Now, for those of you who hung out for the special kind of thing, uh, one of the things I, you know, continue to do and try to encourage, uh, you know, in kind of the videos and the discussions and how I interact with people, sometimes I fail, uh, is just it, it kind of this is a special bonus thing. Like, what's the, you know, what's the thought? What's the challenge for the day? What's how can we be better? And me just trying to encourage you guys. Uh, especially because when I look at the stats, the majority of you guys are men. Uh, if anybody who's a lady here who's staying, hanging out, thank you so much for being here. You're awesome too. Um, but one of the things I think that it's important is that for men to encourage other men to be better, to be the person that you are meant to be. And that's kind of what I want to start kind of like, I guess, seeding at the end of these videos as a, just a little bit of bonus, just as, as, a, as a message of hope, as a message of like, like, you know, life can be hard, uh, you know, part of the thing I kind of joke about, you know, in my stand up is literally like yeah, life is about falling in love with getting kicked in the nuts over and over again. Like, but we're men and it's it's not on to us to burden other people with our problems. Right. Like that's that's something that I was raised and taught. And that doesn't necessarily mean that, like, you can't sit here and confide like in another guy or, or a friend or something like that. But the encouraging word that I want to I want to leave you as a part of this bonus part of the video itself is literally just to reach out to like if your parents are still alive, reach out to them today. If you got a really close friend you haven't talked to in a while, reach out to them today. We only are given today. We're only like the fact that you're listening to this, like we have no guarantees as to what comes tomorrow. Don't waste today as an opportunity to tell somebody you love uh, you love them. To, to smile at somebody, um, you know, in that regards, because it is a very powerful thing, especially coming, um, you know, from from like this idea of, of manhood and what it means to be a man in 2023 and how we can go about, uh, you know, being who we were made to be and hopefully uh, continue to encourage ourselves to be better, not to encourage you, not that you have to be me or I have to be you, but to be the best version of you and for me to be the best version of me that I can be. And I'm on that journey. You know, I'm not there. This isn't me saying like, hey, guys, I found this way and this is how it works. It's just me to sit down and say, like, listen, you you can kick some ass today. You can be like you can be an awesome person today. And uh, sometimes it just takes that level of encouragement. So and that could be something so simple as like, you know, making your bed or like taking a shower or brushing your teeth. Don't you don't have to make life so like absolutely harder than it needs to be. Just set, set some kind of goal today, whether that's to reach out to a loved one. Uh, or just something to do that you've just kind of keep putting off get it done first thing swallow the frog get it done enjoy the rest of your day and anyway I'll, I'll hopefully be back for another video and another one of these little bits at the end of it so you guys can let me know how you feel about them um, but that's just kind of my thought for the little bonuses uh to include uh just trying to put some good out in the world um so we're not also alone about it or frustrated about it i get anxiety about it I don't know about you, but you can let me know. Thanks guys for being here. Love you, love you faces. Hopefully I will see you in the next video, but until then, take care.